Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to make a crouching system inside of Unity, like Sniper Elite 4. So this is what we made in the previous videos. Uh, we were able to walk around and run around, and then we also made the scope effect uh, like that. All right, so we can see these distant objects like if we are in normal mode we cannot see them right here but if i zoom in using the scope i can see them really clearly so this is what we made in the previous videos and if you haven't checked them out make sure you see them and let's get started by the way if you haven't seen the mm, tutorial on how to make the third person character control then uh, the link will be in the description box below make sure you see that one uh, okay so now when I go in here and go to mixmo.com this is a really cool site in which you can find all these animations and also you can rig your character in just two minutes if you haven't seen the video on how to rig and animate your character in just two minutes then make sure you see that video and then you will be able to upload your character and uh, find these animations the link will be in the description box below as always alright so I went ahead and uploaded my character and rigged it and I found uh, these two animations one is crouch walk and one is crouch idle so I have just downloaded both of them you can find all of these in here and choose one uh, which you like and then just go ahead and drag and drop it inside of unity so I'm gonna do that just like that so these are the two animations that I just um, downloaded and I just imported select both of them and then go to rig and then make sure they are humanoid and say apply and then go to each of them and make sure both of them have these checked the ones which have greens so as you can see now he is sitting but as you can see he's looking that way so if i go in the top view he is looking that way and that's not what we want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and rotate him so that he faces the front so uh click apply and then go to the new one uh, uh, next one and then I'll go ahead and hit all of these that are green as you can see this is not green so don't hit that one otherwise if uh, like if he, as you can see he is walking right but if I select this one he is gonna walk and come back and snap and th that's not what what we want so click those ones which are green but I'm gonna apply and come back but as you can see he is again facing in that direction that is not what we want so make him face the right direction like that still not facing front there we go he's facing front now by the way if you are wondering where did these 3d models come from well i have already made a tutorial on how to download 3d models from other games this one is from sniper elite 4 this one is from sniper elite 3 and if you don't know uh, and this is also from sniper elite 4 so if you want to learn how to download uh, f for free these assets uh, these 3d models from any game make sure you see the video the link will be in the description box below as always okay okay do that go to animator this is the animator that we just made in the previous video so there's idle walk and run and then there's a scope uh, animation now um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a crouching system in here so again if you haven't seen the video on how to make a uh, uh, third person character controller in which we have idle walk and run make sure you see that video i have made a whole lot of videos so i'm not gonna explain that again uh, but the crouching system is again uh, the same kind of a thing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and select both of these crouchings and drag them in so one is called idle crouching aiming and the other is called walk crouching front so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and say idle oops i'm gonna go ahead and rename that to idle crouch and then crouch walk so make it simple for you walk there we go so idle crouch and idle walk and these are the two states that we are gonna transition so first thing first let's make the transition from this and this so that we can switch between idle crouch and idle uh, the crouch walk and crouch idle and uh, we're gonna do that by adding a uh, as you can see if we select the uh, transition there is a conditions list and the list is empty and we want to make a condition plus sign and then float so magnitude and I'm gonna call it uh, crouch with C uh, because I don't want to you know rename the same ones so crouch C uh, magnitude and then go ahead and select the magnitude and make it greater than 0.1 and then go ahead and select this transition and if it's less than 0.1 so crouch magnitude is less than 
one so if you no, don't don't understand what is happening here so let me just go ahead and quickly explain it to you guys so you don't have to do it but i'm gonna do it just for you guys to you know learn what is happening over here so as you can see i have made the crouch idol the main uh let me just come out of there select the game okay all right so as you can see i have set the crouch idle to be idle uh, to be default state just to explain and then as you can see the magnitude of crouch is zero right now so it's playing the idle uh, animation if i select the player there we go he's playing the idle uh, crouch idle and then when i set the magnitude to one he is gonna start to walk and then if i set it to back to zero uh, oops 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 zero he is gonna stop and do the idle animation so this is what is actually happening over here all right so it's just comparing the float that we just made if it's greater than the value that we are just putting and then he's gonna just transition between the animations but one thing you need to do is you need to uh, turn off the has exit time so in order to uh, when you do that it means that uh, the whole animation will not play like if uh, the whole animation will play and then he's gonna transition so we don't need that we're gonna just transition whenever the value is greater than 0.1 so okay so now what we have to do is we have to transition uh, we have to control this value of magnitude of crouch through the code and that is what exactly that we are doing over here all right that is exactly what we are doing here so i'm gonna set this idle to be default state for now and of course we will have to make a transition from idle to crouch idle all right uh, let me just go ahead and select these two bring them down and of course make a transition from walk to crouch and then again run to crouch all three of them and then i'm gonna go ahead and say bool and this condition will be crouch which means if crouch is true then go in here if crouch is false come back so has exit time false crouch is true then go to crouch simple and do the same things for all of these guys crouch is true and then crouch is true has exit time false has exit time false okay and then when we come back we want to come back to the idle when the crouch is false all right so crouch false come back to normal idle okay so we will have uh, let me just go ahead and quickly do that again for you guys um, play the game and come back to the scene there we go okay so now as you can see he's doing the idle animation if I make it bigger just like that so he's doing the idle animation and then when I set the crouch to true he's gonna go to the crouch and then when I set the magnitude of crouch to one he's gonna go and move zero move zero and then when I set the crouch to false he's gonna stand up and then he can walk around and run around and do his stuff this is what we're gonna control using the scripts now I think your concepts should be clear and that is pretty cool so uh, I'm gonna use the playmaker FSM that is what we have been using from the previous videos from the start uh, if you don't know what F uh, playmaker is then go ahead and check out the video the link will be in the description box below it is a really cool asset in which you don't have to write any code but um, you can uh, write codes like this so it's pretty simple it looks a little weird but it's really really simple I am gonna t uh, teach you guys how to do it just a second and yeah Impo uh, download and import it the link will be in the description box below that how do you import and install download it's really short file you can go ahead and do that so okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say right click add a state and I'm gonna call this one crouch idle or just crouch okay so like this is the walk and uh, idle and walk for the normal person for the normal condition and this is, will be the uh, idle and walk for the crouch all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and simply do the same thing that we just did over here uh, but i'm gonna do it again because some people may get confused that what is happening so first thing what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the input from the user so get axis vector and it is just w a s d so it's already set to w a uh, w and s and then d a a and d all right just w a s d it's already set you don't have to worry about that and then make sure it is relative to the main camera otherwise 
uh, it's not relative to the main camera and you are pressing your left and right and it will be according to the world not according to the camera make sure you do that and then you have to store the vector into some variable I already have a vector but you have to just say new variable and then and just place that vector inside of that All right so just say new variable enter the name and then go ahead and set that okay okay so then the magnitude do the same thing go ahead and say new variable enter the name and then select that name I, I have already done that so I'm gonna select these two cool and then what we have to do is we have to go ahead and say uh, uh, smooth look at direction or smooth look at uh, let me just quickly see I just forgot it's it is smooth look at direction alright so um, come in here smooth look at direction and the user owner is the player and we're gonna look at the direction with that we just stored over here the direction vector and that is a vector alright so the same one that you just made over here just place that in here and that will do the stuff um, for you and yeah uh, so uh, now what we need to do is we need to set these values that we just made over here so ma uh, crouch magnitude and crouch uh, bool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say set animator bool this one said animator bool and the animator bool it's called crouch so just copy this name copy and paste uh, make sure you have locked this one otherwise if I do not lock it and I select anything else this will just vanish so make sure it is locked and you can select anywhere you want all right cool so um, set this to true when we are in crouch and then also set any uh, set animator float set animator float where is it uh, oops set animator okay so it is somewhere over here set animator float the user owner the animator the float is called this one so copy paste name and set it to one no uh, set it to the exact value that we just stored in here all right magnitude will be equal to the magnitude that we just storing from the user so if user is pressing WASD then it will accordingly set the magnitude of this one so if, if the user is not pressing any button like it, if the user is not pressing WASD then magnitude will be zero and he uh, will not move and then if the user is pressing WASD the magnitude will become one and he's gonna start moving cool and set that to uh, every frame which means uh, it's gonna check that every second every frame all right cool so save that and okay cool that is working now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make transition from idle to crouch and from run to crouch too right so how do we do that is by pressing some button so we're gonna go ahead and get input from the button so get get button down which means when we press the button get button down the button which we're gonna get bound is about uh, is your choice you can go to edit project settings input and here are all the inputs all right so uh, if you want to make a new input that you can do that by just adding one with this number so just increase it with one like in, in my case it's 30 so I'm gonna set it to 31 and as you can see the last one just duplicates and I'm gonna call this last one crouch crouch oops sorry 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 crouch and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the button to left control so left ctrl i guess that is right yeah so left control is the button uh, and the button name is crowd so copy this name and get out of there and then i'm gonna say if the but uh, if the player presses the button and the button name is crouch that we just made which is left uh, left control then we're gonna go ahead and go to crouch all right so add that transition that we just made over here and then we're gonna go in here whenever we press the crouch button that is left control copy this whole thing this whole action and paste that in run because we're gonna do the same thing when we are running we're gonna go to crouch okay cool let's see if it's working or not so let's play the game and see if it's working or not I'm gonna keep the playmaker FSM right here see like we are in the idle idle state right so if I come over here and run and control he is going to crouch and he's also walking around and he is doing his stuff and he goes, uh, but he cannot come out because we didn't made that but it's pretty cool like he is walking around in the crouch mode pretty cool 
pretty pretty cool so now we have to just make another action that will uh, tell us that we can come out of the crouch to the idle so we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing you just copy this and paste this over here so whenever we press the same button left control we're gonna go to the idle simple as that and go to idle and he, he is walking around in this state and then he can come he can come back save this enter into the play mode I'm gonna drink the water oh, okay so we can run around and we can also crouch pretty awesome make sure you like this video hope you guys enjoy it make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link will be in the description box below and i will see you in my next video